What is up guys, it's JD here from Game of Zen, and today I'm bringing you another installment in our Rain Meter series. Today we're going to be learning the very basics of Rain Meter coding, as well as making our first skin. If you haven't seen the first two videos in the series, click the little eye in the corner. In order to make our first skin, we need to understand the basic file structure of a suite. As mentioned in the previous video, suites are groups of skins that can be made into a .rm skin file and installed on a computer in one go. On the screen is a diagram of how the skin structure works. The file containing the suite, the root folder, is at the top. Inside of that, the config folders contain .ini files. These files have the actual information for the skin. There may be multiple .ini files in a config folder per variance of that individual skin. The root folders are contained in your RainMeter skins folder, shown here. So let's jump right in and make our very first skin. Like with any programming language, the first thing we're going to do is simply say hello world. Head to your skins folder and make a folder titled hello world. Open the empty folder and right click inside it. Click the new txt document. Rename it to hello world ini. Make sure the file type changes as well. Side note. If you want to make it so you can change file types easier, click alt, then tools, then folder options. Click view tab and uncheck hide extensions for known file types. Trust me, this is going to make your life easier. Side note over. Okay, so go back to that .ini file you just made. Open it up in a text editor. I would recommend Notepad++, but Notepad works fine in a pinch. First, we need to add our header tag, which is just rain meter in brackets. Next, we need to add update equals 1000. This just tells the program how often to update the skin. In our first skins, the rain meter section will be pretty empty. In addition to the update rate, this section is basically used for background stuff and settings. Next, we're going to be making a meter specifically a string meter used to create text. What is a meter, you might ask? Well, loyal viewer, meters are what make up Ray Meter skins. They do many things, from detecting clicks to displaying images. Meters are indicated by text inside brackets. These meters, in turn, have options which dictate what they do. So let's go ahead and make our first meter. Name it whatever you want. I'm calling mine my first meter. So, now we need to tell Ray Meter what kind of meter it is. So if you want to add text, type in meter equals string. Now, to add our text, we need to use the text option. Type in text equals hello world. This is all we need to have a functioning skin. Go ahead and click save and close the text editor. Open a rain meter and click refresh all. Your skin should appear. If it doesn't, you set up the folder or the INI file wrong. Go double check your work. If it does appear, click the arrow next to the hello world folder and double click the INI file to load in the skin. Congratulations, you've officially made your first functioning rain meter skin. Now, if you want to clean this up a bit, we have a few options. Open the .ini back up. First thing we want to add is an anti-aliasing option. This will make our text look smoother. To add this, type in anti-alias equals 1. We can also apply general formatting to the text. We can change the font point with the font size option, the typeface with the font face option, and the color with the font color option. Go ahead and change these as shown or go crazy. By the way, the font color option uses an RGB code. There's a link down below the like button on how to find that for any color that you want. Now you've made and customized a Ray Meter skin. Next time, we'll be learning how to use this text to launch programs, as well as about more of the inner workings of Ray Meter skins. Make sure to get subscribed so you don't miss it. This has been JD, and I'm out. See you guys next time.